Kentucky. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Joe Silva. How's everyone doing tonight? So, um, today was another ordinary day. But something, I was, today was, today something kind of funny happened. I found a glitch. A glitch in, I don't know how to describe it, a glitch in the Matrix, I guess. Because earlier today, I was sitting, on, I was working on my computer, doing some work on my computer. And all of a sudden, I don't know how it happened, I don't know when it happened, it just happened. I had the biggest, like, deja vu moment hit me a minute, a second ago. And it was really weird, because when it hit, it was just like, pow, right? It was like someone was like, right to the front. Yeah, that. So, the deja vu was this. I was sit Have you ever been sitting somewhere... Having a conversation with somebody, and all of a sudden you had this really strange feeling like you've had this conversation before. Like, that exact moment you said that exact same thing to somebody, and then it's just not happening now. I get that a lot. I also have noticed something else. Sorry. Oh. Whoa. Ugh. Mm. <clears throat> Where was I? Okay. So, um, something else happened that was interesting today. I don't know if it's me being paranoid, if it's me just being like a little OCD a little bit, but uh, for me, I always do this thing a lot of times when I'm at home, like, I'll get up, I'll get up in the middle of the night sometimes, and I'll go, I'll go outside my, cause my building, where I live, this area here, I have to go to the main house to use, to use the restroom. But I always do something that I've been catching myself doing a lot nowadays, is I do what's called the check. When I walk out the front door, my door, I take my flashlight, and I aim it this way, this way, and then like this, back and forth, looking, making sure there's nobody there. I don't know why I do it, but I do it, and it's just a habit, and I do it every time I do it. So, there's that. So, I heard earlier, yes, I heard, uh, I think it was yesterday, that in Montana, a lady was mauled by a bear in her backyard. Let me, let, me, let me repeat that. A lady was mauled by a grizzly bear in her backyard. That right there is proof. I'm not going to Montana. I thought about going there a long time ago. Also... You know what's funny, what I think is, I kind of think is kind of funny, is that I've been reading, I've been reading Scientific, Scientific America a lot, which is a good magazine. Uh, one of the articles was talking about how they, how scientists are trying to bring back animals from the past. Extinct animals from the past. In theory, that sounds like a good idea. But I know four films that prove it. That's a very, very bad idea. Those four films are called Jurassic Park. Because, for one thing, you bring an apex predator from the past here, you just made humans go from top of food chain all the way down 
down, 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 down to the tiny little muscle. Because I know people say that we're the dominant species on Earth. We're only dominant because of the fact that we can use technology. Take that, te take that technology away and uh, see how you fare. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, these ain't going to do nothing to a bear. <laughs> and people say, oh, I love how people always say, yeah, I could, th this, I could do that, right? People say that all the time, even them. People say that, that they, if, they, if they were in that situation, they would do this. If you were in a... There's a there was a there was this TV a movie a long time ago called like Meters Below, and it was talking it was a, it was an actual true story about this um, about these two girls who were were shark went into a shark cage to uh, uh, on this really like sketchy boat they pay it and it was like dirt cheap to go on this thing well while they're on this boat the cage sinks. The, the chain holding the cage breaks, and they go down. And they go like a. I think they go, I forget, like seventy-five feet down, and it gets to the point where they start hallucinating really bad because of like oxygen. Well, the movie ends with. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but let's just say one of the girls doesn't make it because she tries to swim up to sh to the surface, only to be eaten by a shark. Well, I've always been a fan of like Shark Week. Love Shark Week. Think it's think it's the great think it's the greatest week ever. But the one thing that we need to look at, what I like about Shark Week is this: is it's so nice to see that them actually doing giving sharks in a, in, a, in, a, in a good light. Because a lot of times people have sharks the idea of sharks that they're monsters. They're not monsters. We need to quit with that stereotype because that's just that that's just not good. What we need to do is this. We need to st to look at sharks in a way that makes them more reasonable. So let's all change our point of views and Look at things in a different light. Also, while we're on this thing of changing our mind about things, I'm a very strong believer, strong believer, that I don't like Beyonce, her music. Can't stand it. I'm. I'm, a, I'm a, when I listen to when I listen to music, I like music that has that will speak to me, kind of have like a rhythm to it. You couldn't pay me money to listen to Cardi B, because that's just not who I. Yeah. So. And here's something that I need to get off my chest, and it needs to be said. If you, if people, I want you people to listen to people listen to very close to this. If you're moving out of state and you have a pet, and you don't, and your idea in your head is to dump that animal on a country road. You deserve to be smacked in the head for that. Because dogs and cats will love you unconditionally. But they don't deserve to be dropped off and abandoned just because you're too lazy or you don't you don't you can't house them have anymore. Have them anymore. 
If you can't have a pet, don't get one. It's simple as that. Because there are plenty of dogs and cats in the shelters right now looking for good homes. Who would love to have a house, a forever home. The four animals we have, the four animals we have here, right here. People abandoned them. We took, we gave them good homes, and now they're ours. And they're loved a lot. I, I must. That this subject about animals is kind of a hard thing to say because it really irritates me to no end when. People are that stupid to realize that, are that, just that dumb to, they go, oh, I'm going to get a dog and cat. Oh, wait, I'm moving out of state and I can't have pets? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that dog and I'm going to drop it off on some dirt road for it to fend for itself because I'm a responsible pet owner. No, you're a moron. And I know I'm sounding harsh. So be it. Do not drop animals off if you can't keep them. Take them to the animal shelter. Find a home for them. It's simple as that. Find a home for them. Because if you if you're that lazy and you have to drop them and you and your idea that head that idea drops comes in your head that you're gonna drop it off. You're the that's the reason people was wrong with this world. And while we're talking about what's wrong with the world, this has been bugging me for so long. And I'm trying, I know this is something like a broken record, and I know this is it's gonna be kind of I'm not very I'm not a very political person. But can we stop with this whole Black Lives Matter movement? Because if you have to put a color in front of Lives Matter, it means you're a racist. Because all lives matter. It doesn't matter what color you are. Your life matters. It's simple as that. And just... In this day and age, people are so easily offended by everything. We need to stop with being offended by everything. And we need to stop letting the media show this internal fighting between us. Because all that's doing... Is showing enemies, that's showing other countries that were vulnerable, that they could attack us. And that's not, that's no bueno. Just saying. And I know that people, that this subject is hard for people to believe. But we really need to stop with this whole Black Lives Matter movement. All lives matter. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, yellow, purple, green. It doesn't matter. Your life matters. Stop with the stereotyping. Stop with the whole racism part. America, you need to grow up. It's simple as that. And, we, and, and for, for everyone out there in this world... Can we please, 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 stop with the hate? Because I know it's a tough pill to swallow when people when think about it, but it's not that hard. You don't have to be a dick to everybody. It's simple as that. And, and can we please do treat retail employees with respect? Because, frankly, there's a reason a lot of retail, a lot of retail employees don't smile. Because most times retail employees have to, deal with the, have to deal with the fact that a lot of you customers are not the brightest. So let's, let's, let's start treating people with respect. It's not that hard. So I know that 
usually it's more upbeat and more hey this is great and all that stuff but I'm here to spread the word that it's time for this country to grow up stop acting like a bunch of whiny children and stop getting easily offended by everything and it's time for us to put our differences aside because to tell you the truth it's not that hard to do It's really simple. Stop believing everything the media tells you. Because their job is to basically keep you in awe at odds. Because if we weren't at each other's throats all the time, the news would be rather be boring. So, yeah. Let's all... Let's all come together as a country... Stop letting the media divide us, and we can make this country better. Chuck Norris for president. I'm just kidding. But seriously, though. And I know that that... And... And also, before I before I cut close out tonight, there's something I have got to say, and this has been bugging me for a while now. If you're driving down the street, there's one thing that's been bugging me for so so long, and it's this. I get that everybody has their own taste in, in music and sports and all that stuff. But I'm going to say this, and I don't mean to sound really like a rude or something like that. But spinners do not belong on Dodge on, on any muscle car because they look stupid on that. And I'm sorry, but there are certain cars that look really bad when you have to, when you have to jack them up. Like, like trucks look really cool jacked up. But if you take a like um, a Capri and you jack it up so that basically when you get you have to when you get in the car, the car hits you about right about yeah high. And you put the big wheels on it. That doesn't really do much but make the car look really, really bad. Just saying. And in closing, aliens are real. Bigfoot's real. And... And just let people know... We need to stop with if you if you believe something if you believe in something don't let people did not tell you that, that you're wrong because they're wrong because it's because we can believe whatever we want to believe. Like, for instance, this, before I, before I close out. Indiana Jones movies. Last, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. That movie pretty much... You could have taken Indiana Jones out of that whole movie, and the outcome would have, never, would have been the same. Nazis find the Ark. Nazis open the Ark, Nazis get killed by the Ark, Ark goes into box and put in warehouse in the movie. And I'm sorry, Temple of Doom, Red Lost Ark, Last Crusade, great movies. 
But the Indiana Jones movie that really didn't really give it justice was Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. That movie was like, it was like, went way out there in that. So thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great night. And pretty soon you'll be getting, you'll be getting my, Olympic, my Olympics vlog because the Olympics start. And finally some quality entertainment because trust me when I say it goes Shark Week in the Olympics and... And any documentary on Vikings, or, or medieval times, that's my that's my that's my my go-to. And as always, I'm Joe Silva. Keep it oh so smooth. <laughs>